So here we are standing at the platform at the bottom of one of the ancient star mounds. These star mounds here throughout Samoa are mysterious to many archaeologists as to their purpose and to why they are built. These are like piles of rocks that have been built up into a mound into these strange geometrical shapes like stars. Some of them have eight rays, others have less and there are different, you could say across the islands, all different numbers or different geometries or shapes which could depict, as some believe, maybe the turtle or the octopus or starfish or other different forms of sea creatures. These were also used for rituals in what was called pigeon catching. So these rituals that were performed here to connect and to catch the pigeons. But we feel from an Enochian cosmology that these star mounds also are what could be called star maps. And that each of these different mounds could actually be depicting different constellations. Constellations that the Polynesians were identified with that of the octopus or that of the turtle as in certain stellar alignments in the sky. And so we are studying here how this could be some forms of astrophysical signposts and the rituals were connected to what were seen symbolically as the coming of the bird people. And so these star gods that came from certain constellations that gave forth certain teaching and cosmology to the people of Samoa and to also the ancient pre-Samoans known as probably the Lapita people. And so we feel here there are many great mysteries and wonderful cosmology that can come out of these stones as we put the pieces together here in Samoa.